What's going on YouTube? This is Crazy Sarah. So somebody want to bring another video. Today I'm bringing a video on Usha Sentai Q Ranger episode 14. This episode is called Dancing in Ryoga Palace. This episode focuses primarily on Garu, a character that we haven't really gotten too much focus on, but enough. Um, so I wanted to do this review. I know that this episode came out last week. Unfortunately, I was just moving back into my uh, new house. Uh, and I had only lived in there for like a day in the past, and now since I'm, since I'm done with college for the year, I'm back home, and I wanted to finally get caught up on these reviews, so episode 14, 15, and another video will be probably coming up all on the same day, just want to bring that up. So anyway, let's go on with this episode. Um, so the episode is called Dancing in Ryoga Palace, uh, so the episode starts off with a bunch of the Q Rangers. Um, you know, dealing with some malestrades, you know, typical stuff. Um, the thing is, is that when they end up dealing with the malestrades, um, they don't, they're not able, well, like, it works out fine, but Gar was like, hmm, like, he's, he's back in, uh, the Orion, he's like, hmm, I can't be outdone by them, and so what happens is they start trying to do the Q-Let, and they do it, and they do it, and they do it over and over again, and each time they do it, Garo never gets picked. And he feels like he's probably the most unlucky person ever. Which obviously, when you find out that you're in that kind of situation, you're obviously going to feel pretty awful. Because you're going to you're gonna feel pretty unlucky. And of course, you're thinking to yourself, okay, well this sort of sounds like we're doing another unlucky episode similar to Lucky when he felt unlucky. Uh, <laughs> and yes, kind of true. Um, so what what actually happens is, is that from there... Um, what do you call it? Uh, from there, whoa. Uh, they then and we got, we then ended up seeing a new malastrate. This malastrate is called uh, malastrate you will you will uh, which is this weird malastrate. But the idea behind him is, is that it's like anything that's expensive or like any if you if you experience any feelings or if you do anything that involves expense or luxury he will lock you up in a cellar and keep you captive and will prevent you from enjoying those luxuries whatever they may be on the other hand he is free to do anything luxurious that he wants to do so in other words he's taking away from people's ability to experience luxury and making it so that he's the only one that can do it um so anyway from there, they then end up doing the culette, and they end up realizing that they have to split into two teams. One being a distraction team, one being a uh, one being the team that actually will go and uh, rescue the people that are being captured. So the team that will distract will have to meet up a four-man team. The team that will, uh, you know, rescue will be up with a two-man team. Two-man team ends up being chosen as Spada and Lucky, and the four-man team. Um, what happens is, is that they're, you know, they really want Garu to get picked because the, you know, he obviously wasn't picked for the, the rescue team. So, the, so they keep on going through. So at first, it's like Hammy's chosen. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, Garu, and uh, then it's like uh, Balance and Nagare are chosen, and then it comes down to who will be chosen next. And it is Garu. So that's great. He is in the distraction team. So then what happens is, is that we then end up seeing them. Uh, we end up finding out that they have to go in there and act as, you know, servers at the Ryoga Palace. And what happens is, is that when they go there, which is where Iwatalajin, uh, that magistrate is, they have to serve him and try to get to a remote that if they press the right button, which there are several buttons, that the one that's correct will open up the cellar and let the prisoners escape. So what happens is, is that at first when they enter in there, Hamley tries to be nice and, you know, she's meant to, she's like serving him and he likes girls, Yuvatologin. 
and so he's happy. But the thing is, is that uh, it's, I'm guessing another malice tree or, or an endeavor basically goes up or something like that that can talk says like, oh, we need you to serve somewhere else. <coughs> <coughs> so at that point, she has to disappear. The master's not happy. And then what happens is that we're left with the other three of the team. The other three being, you know, Balance, Nagare, and Garu. So those three end up going and uh, trying to, you know, distract and then get access to the remote. Well, so the first tactic that they employ um, is a tactic where they try to, try to, well, it's actually funny because like, so, you know, Sho is kind of a character that, you know, as we know, is a little bit more, he comes up with ideas based off of what others say a lot of times. In this case, like, there are things that, um, what do you call it, uh, Raptor says that triggers him to come up with ideas. So, for example, she says something, and then he thinks, ah, sushi. So then at that point, he thinks, like, ah, I mean, what else would be so, uh, what else would be so luxurious than sushi, of course. So then at that point, he ends up sending them down the Pisces Kyotama, which allows them to summon a fish, and this fish is pretty wild. At the same time, then Garo goes over to try to press the button to release the prisoner. Rather than pressing the right button, he presses the button that actually causes uh, Spada and Lucky to fall into a trap, and get released back to where they started from. Which when they started, they actually had to fight two endeavors. And so they have they had to go back up again. So this time, rather than say, fish, uh, which didn't work, they then end up trying to um, show into thinking of doves. Because he thinks doves and luxury and that kind of stuff, because they're like nice and peaceful creatures. Like he thinks of peace, and then it's like peaceful, ah, doves. And so, he, so then what happens is I believe it's, it's Balance who tries to do a magic act and uh, rather than there being actual birds that come out, they're like plastic and they're poorly crafted doves. And he tries to mess around with the magician which doesn't really work out and then Garo tries to press the button. This time it doesn't work again, Trav activates, they end up getting shot out. Then try it again, this time the three of them, Balance, Nagare, and Garo try to dance, doesn't work again, and then eventually Garo presses the button, doesn't work again. This time the Lucky tries to stop him and says, I can't, we don't want to have this happen three times in a row. Unfortunately, something falls from above, it's like a bell or a pot falls from above, which is where Spada is. And while they're trying to stay in place and try to prevent themselves from falling out, when that falls on them, they fall out. At that point, they have to fight some endeavors again, and then they have to go back up. And this time, it's interesting because they then end up thinking about. Well, Raptor ends up remembering how when um, Iwatalgen saw Hammy, he he was kind of attracted and kind of happy to be around her. So they thought maybe we need a girl. So then, rather than getting Hammy to return, they end up sending out another Kyotama. And that is the Virgo Kyotama, which this one um, basically allows Garo to dress up as a girl. So he dresses up as a girl. He has like he has like female hair and lipstick and all sorts of stuff. And surprisingly, Yvotaljin is actually attracted. Uh, so then, what happens is is that they end up doing their thing. They actually end up dancing, which is. A little bit too romantic for what it's worth, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so then at that point, he does end up having to choose between a red button and a blue button. And he, uh, <coughs> Lucky reminds him of how he, of how Garo came up to him and said, you know, it's it's the right time for you to test your luck again. And he's remembering that episode where, where it's focused around Lucky's luck. So he ends up realizing that, yes, it is time for me to test my luck. And so this time he has to choose between blue and red. He chooses the blue button that releases the prisoners. In the meantime, I forgot to say this, they, uh, Lucky and Spina do get all the way to the prison cell and they have to fight a whole bunch of uh, endeavors. And when they release the pr prisoners, 
it's all good and they manage to eventually escape so then at that point we end up seeing that Hammy says that she's gonna go try to help the prisoners escape from the prison and and everyone else and at the same time the other five will go out and deal with a Yubatalgin. So they then end up going out, they then end up transforming and fighting Yubatalgin. Um, Eventually Yubatalgin does summon um, does summon up a consumerist and at the same time then they then end up using Ryote. Oh, this combination is different from what it's been in the past where before we had, you know, Kuma, um, where we had like the, the Kugoma and Ugama forms, uh, and, uh, you know, we had, uh, so, so, like, uh, Stinger's Mecha, um, you know, Sasori, Orange, or whatever. Uh, in this case, they ended up using Balance and Nagare's, uh, Mechas as the arms. So it's a little bit of a different situation with Rio Te Teo, which basically means that yes, you can replace those, and that is a combination and it's a real thing, and it's very cool. So then at that point, they end up fighting with the consumers, but at the same time, it's not like Iwatelgen is gone. The others still have to fight. So that leaves Hammy, no, not, not Hammy is not in this, uh, Garu, um, Sp uh, Spada, and Lucky to fight off uh, Iwatelgen. And the thing is, is that Iwatelgen is like, I, I I won't go without you, my love, or something like that. And the thing is, is that Garu's like, uh, not, not for me, or something, something like that. And the thing is that, yeah, is that they end up quickly beating him up. At the same time, they end up using a final attack against him, and a final attack with Ryuteo and win. So, pretty cool. Then from there, Apparently, Balance did steal the treasure because he was interested in the treasure from the Ryoga Palace. Thing is, when he opens it up, nothing's in there. There's a puff of smoke or something like that that appears, but really, nothing is in there at all. So that's more or less of what happens with this episode. It's a pretty short one, not too much to say about it. I just wanted to kind of just make sure that you guys got to know what my thoughts were. Overall, I enjoyed it. It wasn't necessarily the best episode ever. But it was definitely nice to see a filler episode. It was kind of fun, a little lighter, a little a, a little less serious. Uh, you know, the dancing and the whole dress up scene with Garo and all that stuff. You know, sweet, simple, easy going episode. So this is basically episode fourteen. I am gonna be releasing fifteen on the same day, um, and sixteen will come, uh, you know, in a week. Uh, most likely so uh, may maybe sooner probably uh, but I just want to give you guys that heads up please remember to like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think did you guys enjoy this episode what did you guys think of it uh, 15 will be coming up later today again so please remember to like, like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video so until then guys I'm Crazy Sarah 1 and goodbye guys